Hey guys, TDI fan 2020 and yet again welcome to another brain steel video. And it's yeah, yet again another tool drama one. Because it's been a freaking while since I made one, so I'm like, why not? Today I have pretty much free time because I I'm not going to school today. But I got a dentist appointment, rip aroni. Anyways, so yeah, this is like anime related, so you you might as well just call this total anime island. On the Screaming Gophers team, we've got All Might, Bakugo, Deku, Grey, Happy, Karma, Koro Sensei, Lucy, Nagisa, <clears throat> Natsu, and Todoroki. While on the Killer Bass team, we have Asta, Chopper, Genos, Luffy, Nami, Robin, Saitama, Sanji, Senku, Usopp, and Zoro. Now, without further ado, let's proceed. Alright, let's see the relationships with the Screaming Gophers. Happy and Deku feel a mutual small bond to one another. Alright, so it looks like these two are starting to like each other. Same, oh, actually no. Nagisa and Bakugo are starting to dislike each other. Lucy and Karma are about to bond. Also Karma and Happy. Todoroki and Natsu are about to hate each other for some reason. Same with these two. Why is Grey hating Happy? Like, what the fl- And it looks like these two are also hating each other a little bit. And these two are bonding. Let's go. These two are also bonding. And these two are bonding. Back go with Happy. Like, what the fl What the flip? Anyways, how about the Killer Bass team? Medium dislike towards Chopper. What do you mean, Nami? Same to you, Zoro. Who would hate Chopper? Who? And these two are bonding. These two are bonding. These two are bonding. And looks like Chopper feels the same for Nami, like a slight dislike. How are these two not liking each other? They're freaking friends in One Punch Man, like with a flip. Also, these two are not liking each other. I guess that's understandable. And these two are bonding, and those two are bonding. Now, let's start sitting ducks. The challenge is done in three parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Luffy, Usopp, and Zoro. Don't jump. So these three must wear chicken hats. Why would Luffy and Zoro not jump? I'd expect that from Usopp, but like with a flip. And looks like even though they didn't jump, these guys won. So yeah. And let's show events. Looks like these two have something in common. And the first ever alliance, which consists of All Might, Grey, Koro Sensei, Lucy, Nagisa, and Todoroki. And the second alliance, which has Deku, Grey, Happy, and Karma. How about targets? Let's see. Grey is targeting Bakugo. Natsu is targeting Deku. Nagisa is targeting Happy. And Deku is targeting All Might. What the flip, Deku? Anyways, how about the Killer Bass? Senku is impressing the rest of the team, obviously, because, you know, he's a freaking genius. Sanji and Senku bond strongly. Ooh, noise. Anyways, Screaming Gophers, you guys lost. So, without further ado, let's start this thing. I wonder if I can zoom in just a little bit. Yeah, alright. So, let's see who is safe. First one safe is Natsu. Second one safe is Nagisa. Third one safe is Todoroki. Fourth one safe is Lucy. Fifth one safe is Bakugo. The sixth one safe is Karma. Seventh one safe is Grey. And looks like here's the bottom four. Oh no, one of these guys are gonna go. Ooh, who's it gonna be? I feel like it might be All Might. It might be All Might. I have a feeling maybe Deku is going to try to get convince everyone to vote off All Might. I don't know. Anyways, Koro Sensei is safe. Happy is safe. And the last one safe is All Might. Deku has been the first one eliminated. What the flip? How did, how did Deku get eliminated? All Might voted for Deku. Back to voted for All Might. Deku voted for All Might. Grey voted for All Might. Happy voted for All Might. Karma voted for All Might. Koro Sensei voted for Deku. Lucy voted for Deku. Nagisa voted for Deku. Natsu voted for Deku, and Todoroki voted for Deku. Well, yep, there you have it. Deku has been the first one out, but let's proceed. Let's see the alliances. Yep, this alliance only has three people left because Deku is out. And how about this one? Looks like these two are having a strong bond. These two are having medium dislike. Same with these two. These two are having a medium dislike. Medium dislike. Mutual small bond. Medium dislike, mutual small bond, and mutual small bond, and mutual slight dislike. Anyways, the Awakathon. Okie dokie, let's just see who wins. I'm pretty sure 11 campers compete part 1 and are treated with the part 2 feast. 
Part 3 begins. Luffy falls asleep. Okay, that's understandable because Luffy is, you know, he falls asleep a lot. And Usopp falls asleep. Bakugo falls asleep. Genos falls asleep. Asta falls asleep. All Might falls asleep. Gray falls asleep. Zoro falls asleep. Todoroki falls asleep. Luffy falls asleep. And Sanji and Nami and Happy and Saitama and Koro Sensei and Robin and Nagisa and Senku and Chopper. And looks like two campers remain for the Screaming Gophers being Natsu and Karma. While the Screaming Gophers are going back to the elimination yet again. Let's see the events here. We have a major fight? Wow. And these two have a small fight. And here's another alliance. But Happy leaves the alliance. Ooh, crap. How about show events? And these two will find something in common. And here's the first ever alliance with the Killer Bass. Chopper, Sanji, and Senku. And Luffy is targeting Senku. Chopper is targeting Zoro. Senku is targeting Usopp. And these two, or I mean, never mind, Zoro is targeting Luffy. Anyways, let's see for the killer bass who will be the first one leaving the show. Wait a second. Oh, I did just say that the screaming gophers lost. No, they actually won. Anyways, first one safe is Genos. The second one safe is Senku. The third one safe is Nami. The fourth one safe is Saitama. The fifth one safe is Asta. The sixth one safe is. Chopper. The seventh one safe is Sanji. Bottom four. Looks like a One Piece character is gonna go. Anyways, the next one safe is Luffy. Then the next one safe is Robin. It's gonna be either Usopp or Zoro. And the last one safe is Zoro. And Usopp has been the second contestant eliminated. Rip Usopp. Asta voted for Usopp, Genos, and uh, Robin, and Sanji, and Senku. And Zoro, while everybody else voted for Zoro. But yeah. Anyways, now with two people gone, that leaves 20 contestants remaining. Alright, each part will only be like 10 minutes long, so we'll just do one more challenge and then that'll be it for part one. Anyways, for the Screaming Gophers, the, this alliance is going strong, and this alliance is not doing so well. I'm just, I'm not going to show relationships, I'm just going to show the alliances. And yep, there's still only one alliance on the Killer Bass team. Anyways, Dodge Brawl. In game one, we've got All Might, Grey, Happy, Karma, and Natsu representing the Screaming Gophers, and Genos, Luffy, Sanji, Senkyo, and Zoro representing the Killer Bass. Killer Bass wins that round. Game two, Bakugo, Karma, Korosensei, Nagisa, and Natsu are representing Screaming Gophers, and Asta, Genos, Saitama, Senkyo, and Zoro are representing the Killer Bass. Screaming Gophers win that round. They have one point. Game three. These guys represent Screaming Gophers. These guys represent Killer Bass. Killer Bass win that round. They have two points. Game four. These guys represent the Screaming Gophers. And these guys representing the Killer Bass. Killer Bass win that round. And with three points, the Killer Bass win invincibility. Let's see the events. Gray and Natsu bond slightly. All Might and Corsante find something in common. How about targets? Happy is targeting Todoroki. Bakugo is targeting All Might. Todoroki is targeting Happy. How about for the Killer Bass? Asta and Genos bond slightly, and here we have the second alliance for the team, we have, which includes Asta, Genos, Robin, Saitama, Senku, and Zoro. And a third new alliance, which includes Genos, Luffy, Saitama, and Sanji. Now, Screaming Gophers, you guys lost yet again. One of you, Tan, will be going, or will be eliminated. Anyways, let's see who that will be. The first one safe is Natsu. Second one, Nagisa. Third one, Lucy. Fourth one, Bakugo. Fifth one, Korosensei. Sixth one, Grey. Anyways, it's down to All Might, Happy, Karma, and Todoroki. The next one safe is Karma. The next one safe is all Might, it's down to Happy and Todoroki. And the last contestant safe is Todoroki, meaning that Happy has been eliminated. Anyways, All Might voted for Happy. Back go voted for All Might. Gray voted for Happy. Happy voted for Todoroki. Karma voted for Tokoro 
Todoroki, sorry. Koro Sensei voted for Happy. Lucy voted for Happy. Nagisa voted for Happy. Natsu voted for Todoroki. And Todoroki voted for Happy. And yep, for part one, these are the remaining contestants. See you guys in part two, which will be coming out really soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out.